What's up, everybody? This is Zips once again from Total Gaming Network and CS Nation. And here we are back in Killing Floor 2. You're actually taking a look at Biotics Lab. This is the second of the three maps currently in the Killing Floor 2 beta or alpha. I forget which level it is. I keep mixing it up every single video, but you know. Uh, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a it's a closed thing, whatever it is, and it's at a stage of development that is not yet final. How about that? So, as you'll see in Biotics Lab, this is all indoors. Everything uh, gets a nice coating of blood all over it, especially if you have reflections turned on. Uh, in the longer game types, obviously, the, the blood may cause a bit of a performance issue, especially since some of the floors are already a bit shiny to begin with. So you're getting uh, a lot of reflections going on, and again, I'm showing off some of the destruction in the environment. Some lights, obviously, you cannot destroy, but uh, many of the, the environment objects you, you can destroy. Uh, there are many physics objects, again, just like in uh, the other maps. Uh, here we are taking a look at, a, let's say, an aquarium. I'll make you... I'll let you draw your own conclusions about what's going on in there, uh, or what's actually happening in this lab itself. I decided to play as a support class just to, you know, have fun with the shotguns and everything. And again, here we go. We're going to shoot. There it is. There's that light shot out. Uh, again, you can make some areas very, very dark and make this very, very difficult on yourself and your teammates. It, The environments and the lights do react to more than just bullets. Like, the siren screams can, can bust up some lights and the objects in the environment. Uh, many of the uh, infected can actually destroy some objects in the environment. You won't see that in this video just because uh, I do die pretty quickly. Um, but uh, some of them can burst through desks and it creates new pathing for them. Uh, grenades will also, you know, obviously destroy parts of the environment. Uh, glass will shatter. Uh, lights will, will flicker or just be completely broken. Uh, here we are, taking another look at, uh, another part of Biotics Lab. I didn't get to show off, uh, quite everything, like, you know, I didn't see everything in this video. Uh, again, because I do die pretty early here, I'm just not used to playing as support, and you'll see what happens as a result of that a little bit later. Uh, again, there's, uh, some crazy stuff happening in this lab. Nice giant vats of, let's say, blood, because there's a lot of blood dripping down. Guts. Mmm. Looks delicious. A lot of, lot of uh, nice little details in the environment, I will say. And here we are, about to start Wave 2. Shooting out that monitor because, screw you monitor, I don't like you. Uh, I will have to apologize for some of the wave incoming and some of the red color items in the HUD. In these videos, I tried my best to not make them look bad on my end while I was encoding the videos, but no matter what I did, uh, every time I went through YouTube's next step of uh, their own encoding, uh, they they didn't fare too well in that process. So that may look a little bad compared to everything else, but hopefully the videos come through just fine. Now, here I am stuck in a firm with a buddy. He just wanted to say hi. I didn't uh, particularly care for his uh, methods of saying hello. Pop that guy's head. I really love the shotguns in this game. I know I've mentioned it before, but I really love the shotguns in the Killing Floor series. They're a lot of fun. And uh, I'm really looking forward to perhaps seeing if uh, Tripwire adds back in the Sharpshooter class because that was what I really enjoyed playing in the first game. Uh, just getting a rifle and just headshots in general in this, in this series seem to be really satisfying. And uh, again, showing more of the destructible environments. I'm just swinging away with my, my uh, melee weapon at these breakable glass objects. You can shoot out the lights inside if you so desire. You can just create just a hell of a mess. And uh, we're actually approaching my death here. Uh, I'm just kind of tooling around with a double-barreled shotgun. It is a very, very powerful weapon in Killing Floor 2, just as it was in Killing Floor 1. Obviously, you just have two rounds. Um, Aiming down sights is a bit interesting because there's no real sights to speak of. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so in this I believed I was still playing as Medic for some reason, and uh, my death comes out at an unfortunate time where I get caught by the clots and uh, decide to throw a grenade at my feet. So, uh, yeah, 
enjoy that coming up momentarily. And uh, as always, be sure to check out the other videos I've made if you're interested. Uh, I do have uh, videos up for the other two maps. So uh, with that said, this has been Zips from Total Gaming Network and CS Nation. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you next time.